I hate nurses. Anyone else here hate nurses? This is a sharing about my stroke journey and how nurses made a difference. Before my stroke, I never have to deal with them. I have always been in good health and never needed nurses for anything. Two years ago, I had a stroke and ended up in the hospital for the first time in my life. When I woke up in the next day, I tried to speak. Uh, 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 uh. It was frustrating because no one seems to understand me. I needed to be heard and nobody was hearing to me. I wanted to go home. I felt ignored. Even worse, I was being moved around without my permission. The nurses simply grabbed the back of my pants. I did not like it at all. I find it undignified. I was very upset. I feel like a helpless animal when they grab me by my back of my pants. They say that it's for my safety. I needed a wheelchair, but I wanted my own and not just anyone, my own personal wheelchair. The nurses say that they could not accommodate my request. When I shower, the nurses just spray water on, my, on me, making me feel like an elephant. And don't get me started on the food. Feeling frustrated, I, want, I wanted to go home. But once again, the nurse ignored my plea. And then I met a nurse called Anwa. Anwa came to my rescue and accommodated my difficult and demanding ways. He listened carefully, patiently, quietly, and heard me. Anwa helped me to organize a fixed schedule for the therapist to work with me in the ward. He went the extra mile for me. He would always speak kindly to my question, even the one that were unreasonable like, I want to go home now. On the high side, I realized that I have been a very difficult and demanding patient and Anwar never lost his cool. Eventually, I settled down. I fought and lost. Yet in the process, I found laughter. I began to have a newfound respect for the, for the nurses. I also met another compassionate nurse called John. He knew that I did not like being showered by a stranger and he would help me in a way that won't affect my dignity. I stopped feeling like an elephant during shower time. I realized that there's a difference between just taking care of the patient needs and having emotional connection. In my quiet time, I began to reflect on my situation. It dawned on me that nursing is a very tough and noble profession. Nurses dedicate their lives to caring and helping, helping sick people in need. During my hospital stay, I observed that nurses were expected to do everything. Serving medicine, distributing food, bringing patients to the toilet, changing diapers, showering patients, and sometimes feeding them physically attending to every patient like their personal butler. Imagine that there are seven other patients in the same room as me and many more was in the hospital. What if all patients are as demanding as me? I now respect nurses even more. At the hospital, I'm grateful for those nurses who brought me cheer when I needed it. How did some nurses manage to smile every day? Some nurses are always smiling even when I, when I was grouchy and demanding. Like the nurses at Sengkang Community Hospital who greeted me with a big smile when I was transferred there. And I always remember the joyful nurses who sang billboard hits when they brought me my lunch. Nurses play a very important role in making our healthcare system running like a well-oiled machine.
Imagine my dismay when I read the opening paragraph of Tristan's Times article. The pandemic has taken a toll on the nurses. Across the nation, nurses are quitting in large numbers. In Singapore, they are resigning in record numbers, causing a shortage at the hospital. According to the news report, 14.8% of foreign nurses have left Singapore last year, more than that of 2020. Some have moved to the other countries while others just quit. Do you know, Singaporean and permanent residents make up only 72% of Singapore pool of registered nurses and 63% of enrolled nurses. The rest are from Philippines, Malaysia, China, India, Myanmar, and other countries. At this year, Sing Health Nurses Day celebration, our Singapore Health Minister Ong Yi Kang acknowledged that Singapore has a very diversified group of nurses. It comprises of both local and foreigner. It, he stressed that the importance of tackling the problem of manpower shortages to relieve the burden of nurses. In another news report, the Ministry of Health projected that our nation will need 24,000 more nurses and healthcare staff by 2030 as Singapore ages. So what can be done to retain nurses? Certainly better salary and staff welfare will help. I'm happy to hear this policy changes to support our nurses. I ask myself, is there anything I can do as an individual to improve the life of nurses? And the answer is yes. As an individual, I know that I can strive to be more patient and understanding towards nurses to ease their workload. I also remind the people around me to be more patient with nurses. We all have a part to play to making the life of our healthcare worker better. On a final note, I want to thank all the nurses who were there for me. Thank you for the kindness and care, no matter how busy you were. For the patience and compassion, no matter how demanding I was. Thank you for your smile and positive attitude for lifting my spirit in my darkest hour. Thank you for the thank you for treating me like a friend and a patient. Oh nurses, love them or hate them. We can't do without them. But now that I understand them more. I love them. Thank you. Thank you once again to Mr. Terence Ang for sharing his story and journey to overcome stroke. These are some of the many pleasant and warm faces who were integral in Mr. Ang's rehabilitation. Once again, thank you to these nurses and care workers who work tirelessly night and day to help patients in their recovery. Before we end this presentation, we would like to mention Mr. Ang's books documenting his rehabilitation journey. A Cry in the Dark is the first book published by Mr. Ang that documents and talks about his own personal experiences while recovering from stroke. He hopes that his story will inspire others going through similar trials in life to remain positive as they navigate through these tribulations. A Cry in the Dark is currently sold in bookstores across Singapore and on Amazon.com. Emerging from the Dark is Mr. Ang's sophomore release, and it is a compilation of short stories from other stroke survivors sharing their own journeys and experiences from their individual perspectives. It is due to be released at the end of this year in both Singapore and New York City. 